Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and in this video I wanted to try out if you could just use regular craft store pre-made cards to make Cricut Joy cards because I was at Hobby Lobby for my very first time in six months. It was my very first craft store in-person shopping trip um, since we have been safe at home and I came across these sweet cards. It's a card pack and it has a variety of different little patterns in it. I just thought it was beautiful and I noticed that the sizing is the exact same size as the Joy cards. So 5.5 inches by 4.25 inches. So I got really excited because I thought they're the exact same size. Why not try and see if we can get them through the Joy? And there's a lot of different patterns too that you can choose from this one just caught my eye it was really pretty it's one of the foil packs and there's a lot of pretty cards inside there is a really pretty floral and then another one that caught my eye is this pretty polka dot I thought that was really pretty as well there is another really pretty vine and leaf one that's really um, has some really pretty tones that I liked as well and then a couple interesting ones that just have little templates as well which would be really fun to use the Cricut pen to write on so I was really inspired the ones we are going to or the one we are going to try today is this really pretty floral leaf with the pretty peonies on it I thought it would be really pretty and then I just cut out my own little insert card as well to place inside so the one thing that you do need to know though is that the joy cards that are made for it they have the card the envelope and the insert all in one and I've made a lot of tutorials on um, with these cards and they're so so fun I love using them and their card packs are amazing but I want to try something different so one thing you do need to know about these cards is it just comes with the card and the envelope so you'll have to pre-cut all of your own inserts which is so easy those little inserts are just four inches by 5.25 inches and that's what I just cut this little piece down to so what we're going to do is we are going to create a custom card today we are going to place a little text inside this little wreath so I am going to see how much space I have to work with it looks like I have two and a half inches to work with inside this wreath so I'm gonna go ahead and take you into Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna show you how to make a custom card and I'm also going to show you how to use store-bought craft cards with the Cricut Joy. Okay so now that I'm in Cricut Design Space the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over to shapes and I'm just gonna recreate a template for my Cricut Joy card that way I can make sure that my design is all perfectly sized. So what I'm gonna do is unlock this. I'm gonna go ahead and make this card white just for visual purposes and then I am going to go ahead and make my height the 4.25 and then I will make my width the 5.5. Okay, and there is my Cricut Joy card. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over to images and I am going to search all images and I am just going to say Joy card template. And what will happen is you will see a variety of card cutouts which have the little corner cuts. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one. I'm gonna just do a basic one, select insert images, and then with the shift button held down on my Mac keyboard, I'm going to rotate this it allows me to rotate in increments and it just makes it a lot easier and I'm going to place it on my card. Now these four cutouts allow you to make little cuts in the four corners of your card so that you can put that insert card underneath. Okay now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make another circle or my new circle I guess and then I'm going to size that down to four no two and a half I apologize two and a half. So I'm going to make this um, just a little template because I have about two and a half inches in the middle of my card to work with and then I have a wreath around that. So this is going to be the area that I can actually place my design. So what I'll do is now grab a text and I'm using Kate's ABC's Baby Girl. I think it's a wonderful font. It will work really good for what I have planned for this card. And I'm just gonna type out hi with an exclamation point. Now this is a double layer font, so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that second layer because I'm only doing one and just doing a cut. And I'm just going to bring that within my circle, size it up just a little bit and I will be good to go. Okay, that looks great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything. I'm going to come up to align and I'm going to say align center. And that makes sure everything is centered on my card. 
Now what I can do is I can delete the circle. So I'm going to come over to the circle because it was just a template letting me know where I could design within. So I can go ahead and delete that. I can also delete this uh, square, which is actually now a rectangle. Um, I can delete this square template right here because I only was using it just to help me get everything sized and placed on my card. So I'll go ahead and delete that as well. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that the joy cuts out my design exactly like this because I want this high to be right in the middle of my wreath. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. I'm going to come down here and click attach. Now attaching them together means they will cut in the exact same fashion that they are on this canvas screen on my card. Now I'm going to go over and say make it and then I'm going to select on card mat and say done because I'm making a card. The next thing I'm going to do is for material size, I'm going to make sure it's 4.25 by 5.5 inches because that is my card size. And then I'm going to rotate my card so it's flipped because my fold of my card is going to be right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select shift and hold it down on my Mac keyboard and I'm just going to rotate that so that it cuts the exact way I would like it and the right side up. Now I will go ahead and click continue. Okay, and then I'm going to select the insert card cardstock setting. That's the exact same setting that you would use when using the Cricut Joy cards. And then we'll go ahead and load our mat and get cutting. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I just cut out a little piece of cardstock um, for the inside. This I thought would be really pretty because the peonies are the same color or roughly the same color, so I thought it would look really pretty inside. Um, so I cut out, pre cut out a little piece for the insert, and then I'm going to open up my card. And again, my fold is along this side, so that is why I want to flip my design in Design Space to make sure that the high wrote the right side up on my card. So I'm going to open that up and I'm just going to place the back side through this little sleeve just like I would normally with the joy cards and I will make sure that's folded down really nice and then we can insert it into the joy to get cutting. So I'll go ahead and insert that right there. Okay, so now it's just cutting out the four corners that I had placed on my design, and then it will go ahead and cut out my little words in the middle of the wreath. Okay, it's all done. I can go ahead and select unload on my computer, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold up this little corner here, and then I will place my little spatula right under it and help bring that card right up off of the mat. And you have some little leftover card, um, little letters on the mat too if you want to save those for another project as well. And then what I can do is make sure all my little pieces came out. So a couple corners, there we go. And that cut setting was perfect. So the cut setting is the same for the for at least the this set of pre-made cards um, that I purchased. It's the same as the Cricut Joy cards. So now I can go ahead and take my little insert card that I went ahead and pre-cut and I'll place it in the little folds here, just like this. Okay, and then that is my final little card. I think it turned out really, really sweet, and it's really nice to know that I can make some joy cards with a new card pack that I have because the little designs in here are so fun. They're going to be really fun for the holidays, especially, I don't know if I showed you this one, but isn't this going to be pretty for fall? This is a really pretty um, little plaid or gingham look that I think is going to be really pretty. So that is how you can still cut Cricut Joy designs with the card mat on your Cricut Joy with store-bought cards. If you thought this turned out really cute and you thought this was helpful, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure you're subscribed because there are going to be so many fun things coming up on the channel. I cannot wait to show you guys what's coming up. I have really put my heart into this fall content calendar and I'm really excited to share what I'm going to be crafting. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video.